Hey everybody, I'm sorting through a couple issues with Logic's newest update, and uh, I thought perhaps I would see if any of you are having the same issue and then vent about it a little bit at the same time. So I don't use external MIDI tracks very often, but I do use them sometimes. There's a, a few different reasons for this, uh, but um, the new MIDI routing functionality in 10.7 is supposedly supposed to, you know, do something with some of this, but here's here's what's happening. Let me walk you through uh, what's going on. I'm going to create a new uh, MIDI track right now, external MIDI track, and you'll see over here, I'm going to set the input to my keyboard, and then I'm going to do the MIDI out port to, you know, one of my... Uh, different things on my interface here. We'll go out to Steinberg for this one. And then I had three other tracks here. Well, two other tracks. And sometimes this is happening a certain way and sometimes it's not. Uh, so let me do a new track here. This will be my fourth one. And all, let's set that to the MIDI import. And uh, it automatically went to channel two, that's fine. But I'm going to change this to one of my other interfaces, the MIO. And then I'll go back to here, the one right before it. And you'll see that now it has changed as well. So these are, it's combining these MIDI tracks into the same, uh, same, essential track when I create a new one. Let's do this again. Let's cr uh, create a new, and actually, let's open up the mixer for a second. You'll see I essentially only have two MIDI tracks, even though I've got four of them up in my main window. So let's come up here, new external MIDI track, and it creates a third one. New external MIDI track, it creates that one. So, even though I just said make a new track. It's making it one of the original ones. It's not actually making a brand new track every single time. And so this is the confusing part. It's like, why can't I just have each of these be a different track? Now, sometimes um, it's just doing it with the same settings as I was having it on before. Uh, and so I can come through here, for instance, with this one and say, um, let's do then two. You'll see that anything else that was considered the same one has switched to the same output. Even though I changed the outputs, I'm going to come here and make uh, assign it to a different MIDI channel, and now it creates a new track and it's a separate object. So it's when I change the channel, it's leaving the other ones to their original channels. So let's do channel three for this one, uh, and then. Now I've got channels one, two, and three. They each have their own actual objects and, and so forth. If I come now and say, I want to do this to one of these other outputs, it switched all of the outputs for those other ones, even though they're separate channels. They have different MIDI channels. They're not... Uh, this is so convoluted. It's hard to even describe because it, it seems so random sometimes. Uh, I, I'm frustrated because I should be able to just have one of these be its own thing, has its own channel, has, its, uh, has what it looks like the ability to set the output, and yet if I come through here and change that... Uh, it changed the out port for the other ones too. So now the MIDI that are on these ones are going out a whole different output, even though I changed a different track. Okay, question to you. Anybody else uh, have any idea what's going on here? Uh, this is not a simple thing here because I can come through with these external MIDI tracks and reassign them. Uh, and so it's like I can come through here and change. Well, I can't even change. I can just change the output channel. 
Oof. So let me see if I can do that with any of these other ones. It's registering just as one option here. The MIO4. 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 Let's go to Steinberg and see how many of these change to Steinberg. The first two changed. The rest of them didn't. So they're kind of separate and not separate at the same time. Uh, when I select these down here, you'll see if I select this one and it skips over. I mean, even though this is the essentially the same MIDI input, let's record just some MIDI data here. And um, it's not recording them into the other tracks, even though, say I had this here, and I'm on this track, and I say, you know what, I want this one to go out a different place. This original one now switched to that one. Partially, this is frustrating because it doesn't seem logical to me. Now, I change the channel here to channel 8. So this one is going out MIO4. This one's going out MIO4, but they're on different channels. Let's change this to HST on that one. And it still switched it, uh, even though I can't come through and reassign this at all. It's not letting me reassign it, uh, which the whole thing. So using the external MIDI tracks is, is not, I don't think it's functioning quite right. There's something here that's wrong that I don't fully understand. Um, because a lot of this stuff is just not uh, is not just functioning correctly. I mean, look at the mixer down here. I didn't touch any of the faders, and yet they're giving me different levels even. Okay, so uh, thoughts. Who who knows what's happening with this? Um, let me know in the comments some theories because it's like I hate to admit that I don't understand something here but um it looks like to me it's a bug and so i don't know why this would be happening like this i don't know how to uh to change it exactly um these ones are independent in terms of the midi import and sometimes you know some of these were created by double clicking below that one created a whole new object so did that, but sometimes it doesn't do that, and it depends, I don't know, it's like these ones are doing, su you know, subsequent MIDI channels. Let's do here. So these are all doing that. MIDI DIN 1, eight, but they, they were starting with different uh, options there. Let's change this to Steinberg for a second. Okay, so those are all different. Let me change to USB 1. I haven't put anything on that. Now those all change to USB 1. Oh, man. Okay, so kind of a aimless rant here because what shouldn't happen, um, I should be able to just create a new external MIDI track and assign it and, and have it stick with that no matter what. It shouldn't be attaching these to other objects. I'm not creating with the same channel. So we do have some options here where we can do new track with same channel um, or, you know, with even duplicate settings or anything. I'm literally just saying, give me a new default. And um, it's just randomly, it feels like picking things. And so it's hard to know. And it, like, look, program 48, Program 28, Program 33, Program 90. I don't have, I mean, this is not like a, a default project. This is like just a blank, blank project. It's um, bizarre. Let me know what you think. Um, I am looking for someone to, to say, here's an idiot thing you're doing. And, um, 
and I'll I'll just gladly eat that pie when it when it's handed to me. So uh, this is why I use instrument tracks.